Hi, I'm Ben Gramico from Natchi TV. We have Paul Abernathy, the electrical guru, in our studios today. Welcome, Paul. Good to be here. Paul, we built this for you. Mm -hmm. um, these are some of the components that a home inspector would see during a normal residential uh, inspection of a home inspection. And um, it's filled with electrical defects, violations, problems, concerns. And we would like you to help us understand what a home inspector would do. Uh, when they walk up to these components inside a house. Sure. Where do you want to start? Well, the first thing I like to start with generally would be <laughs> pull it straight out. And see how I'm keeping it all in front of me? The one other one I see is we have aluminum. Now, when I use a tandem breaker like this or two pole breaker and I do a multi wire circuit, if it's a poor connection, I might have a situation where I read that breaker a lot higher than any other ones. Incidentally, do you know how a GFI works? The other issue is look how it's installed. Then I can only have a case to neutral connection. And as we move it, we'll break us in front. We're going to move it to the right to slowly keep the shield to block it in front of us. Like is that I'm looking at this bus bar. This house was built just a couple years ago. Now, if you look at this meter, this is a typical rectangular style meter. That's an important thing to remember when you're doing an inspection. I figured we'd give you an example of what you do during a routine home inspection inside the dwelling. This whirlpool requires it to have access to the pump that's under here. Now, the spacing of receptacles would require it to be within two feet of the sink or two feet from ranges. So I'm going to infrared it and see what kind of readings I get. I'd just like to say for all the home inspectors out there that are, that are struggling, with electrical issues, take your time, study hard, take the, 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 the classes that are provided for you from InterNACHI is, is you couldn't put a price on it, okay? We're covering so many things in a small amount of time, and we're obviously there's some things that we're going to leave out uh, because every installation is different, every inspection is different, but don't stop your education and learn, learn, learn. And, and some of these topics that we talk about, could go even more in depth than the way we talked about them. So don't be afraid to ask somebody questions that, that might know a little more than you do on it, and don't be shy about it. I want to thank you for having me. Uh, hopefully uh, we can do it again sure. and do some more training. Thanks, Paul. All right. I'll see you next time.